Hi folks, it's Mike with GetMyTips.com with a tip for everyone who owns a dishwasher. Now I can't begin to tell you in my 30 plus years how many times we got a call from a customer who said, my dishes are still wet at the end of the cycle in my dishwasher. Or they might say my dishes are still wet and they're still dirty at the end of the cycle in my dishwasher. Well, on this video, I'm going to show you what you can do as a homeowner to reduce the possibility of your dishes being wet at the end of the cycle and maybe help with getting them cleaner. Now, believe it or not, the main reason that your dishes could be still wet at the end of the cycle is that the water entering the dishwasher is simply not hot enough. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, hey, my dishwasher has a heater in it, just like what you see on your screen there with the arrow pointing to the heater. But those heaters are woefully inadequate for heating water. The best they can do is try to help maintain the water temperature. Let's take a look at my particular situation and see how long it takes before I get 120 degree water. Now obviously we sped that up to save time, but you can clearly see that it took about 50 seconds for me to get 120 degree water at my sink. And that means that my dishwasher would be done filling before it ever sees hot water. Okay, so water temperature might leave the dishes dirty, but how come they're still wet at the end of the cycle? And the answer to that is, on most dishwashers, there is a very specific amount of time used in the drying cycle. That's when the dishwasher stops washing and turns on the heater to try and dry the dishes. Well, if the water temperature at that point is too low, then it won't get the water on the dishes hot enough to turn into a vapor. You might even open up the dishwasher and go, oh my, it's quite hot in here. Well, that's true, but the water on the dishes did not have sufficient time and sufficient heat to go from a liquid to a gas long enough to disappear in your dishwasher. Okay, assuming your dishwasher is functioning properly and your hot water heater is set for at least 120 degrees, the only thing that you can do as a consumer to make sure that your dishes are dry at the end of the cycle is to purge the water line between the hot water heater and the kitchen sink. And finally folks, if you're looking for the top of the line solution for getting your dishes dry and clean at the end of the cycle, this is it. This is an electrical hot water heater that sits under the sink and plugs into 120 volts. You can deliver 120, 130, or even 140 degree water to your dishwasher. Thanks for watching.